Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sportsbook. I am your host Tom Downey, here with all the latest Cowboys rumors and news. First up, is the Zach Martin injury not serious? I'll give this one three stars. Jerry Jones and Martin and others have said that he's going to be day today. That's what Jerry Jones said today. It's the same type of MCL injury he's dealt with really all season long. Now, I'll only give it three stars because there's a chance he's going to play and he's going to try to play this week against the Colts, but it's another knee injury for Zach Martin. So at some level, it is at least a little bit concerning, right? Now, if Zach Martin can't go against the Colts, and I don't know if he will, this will be your starting offensive line. Your tackles remain the same. Xavier Suofilo, Joe Looney, Connor Williams. Now, Williams looked okay and even good at times in replace of Zach Martin. He had some issues in pass protection against Fletcher Cox, which... I mean, it's, F it's Fletcher Cox. will be a little bit nicer to Connor Williams on that one. Joe Looney had some issues as well. Really, that offensive line did not play that well as a unit. Even Zach Martin, who never gives up sacks, gave up two of them against the Eagles. That matches his career or his season high in any year combined. Two sacks in one game is not Zach Martin-like. So how worried are you about Martin? Great here on a scale of 1 to 10. Look, I'm putting it around a three or a four. I am at least a little bit worried. He's still playing at a good level, but he's not quite the same, and I do worry about that knee injury hobbling him throughout the season and the playoffs as well. I would not be surprised if you see Zach Martin sit out this week against the Colts, but we'll see what happens on that one. Keep it here. We'll have updates throughout the week. Now, folks, it is the holiday season, and Santa Tom here is here to hook you guys up. Do you want a free Cowboys jersey? Maybe some awesome Cowboys shoes from Nike or Converse? We've got the best deal of the year for you, or love them if you, if you want to give away that Cowboys jersey. All you've got to do is get started with our sponsor, Bet DSI. We've got a brand new shipment of Cowboys jerseys. We've got some Dak Prescott ones, some Zeke Elliott ones. Jalen Smith as well in a variety of colors. Here's what you do to get that Cowboys jersey or the shoes we'll show you here in a little bit. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code COWBOYS120 when you sign up. A, you're going to get a 120% deposit bonus. Put down 50 bucks, they're going to give you 60 and then you'll get that jersey by DMing us on Twitter at chatsports and we'll get you guys hooked up with that Cowboys jersey that you want or some shoes instead. It's the best deal of the holiday season. Chatsports.com slash bet, that promo code Cowboys120. Then DM us on Twitter, at Chatsports. We've got plenty of inventory, but these will go quickly, so get in on the action now with BetDSI. All right, back to the Cowboys rumors. Is it going to be the Sean Lee return week? I will put it at two stars. I think there's a decent chance, and if I had to guess one right now, I'd lean toward him playing this week, but it's still early in the week. So we'll see what happens. Now, I think you'll see Sean Lee be limited at practice on Wednesday, and maybe he's able to go against the Colts. Tavon Austin could return as well. David Irving, well, we'll see if he actually shows up to practice this week. But Sean Lee, this might be the week that he is able to return for the Cowboys. All right, back to the key rumor of the week. And do the Cowboys want Winton back? Like, I'm going to give it three stars. Maybe you saw the headlines this weekend or even today from the Dallas News or from the Washington Post that said, Jason Garrett and Jason Witten shoot down report. Again, the Eastern report was that Jason Garrett tried to convince Jason Witten to come back to the Cowboys. The Cowboys, Jerry Jones, Jason Garrett have denied that report. Jason Witten didn't really, though. This is his exact quote. There's nothing there. Look, I'm enjoying where I'm at. Those guys are hot. They don't need to change a thing with the way they're playing and the way the defense is playing. They're in good shape, and so am I. So where in that quote does Jason Witten say that Jason Garrett didn't ask him to come back? This is Jason Witten saying he doesn't want to come back. This is not a really a denial from Jason Witten about the initial report. It's him confirming that he's not going to come back. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the Cowboys asked Jason Witten to come back, and Jason Witten said no, but let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comment section. And if you subscribe to us here on our Cowboys Report YouTube channel, you saw that rumor come through on your feed on Sunday. We broke that down for you at the time, and I don't think much has really changed. And if you want to get in on the show as well, in our fan rumors or in our Cowboys mailbag section, go subscribe. All the mailbag questions, or at least most of them, and all the fan rumors questions, or I guess comments, come from that channel, youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. All right, next up, are the Cowboys unhappy with Taco? No, not the food, the player, Taco Charlton. I'm going to give this one three stars. Now, 
Taco was a healthy scratch against the Eagles, and Taco says he's not 100%, which is accurate. In reality, Taco is hurt right now. He's playing through that shoulder injury, but don't forget he's kind of more injured, or he's not injured, he's hurt. There's a difference there. Now, Stephen Jones kind of called him out in the media and said all players deal with injuries, but he's just got to work to get better. I think he's been slow getting back and slow getting into the mix. Hopefully this will be an eye-opener eye for him, and he will respond once it says he needed to step up. That's in reality calling out Taco Charlton. I mean, that's what that statement is from Stephen Jones. And there's been some buzz about an attitude issue for Taco Charlton. He was not active against the Eagles. And I think that's a little bit early to, to firmly say this, but it is kind of trending this way if Taco can't get things going again here. Is he a bust? I'm not going to call him one quite yet, but two sacks through almost two full years for a defensive end, a pass rusher, that's not good. So I still think Taco can get things turned around, but... He has been a bit of a disappointment so far in Dallas. Hopefully that changes in the near future. All right, next up, did Amari Cooper criticize Scott Littahan? Well, yeah, he did. Yes, you, you should have seen his quote, right? Like, so Cooper didn't mean to, but he did critique Scott Linehan. It's three stars on this one. Dak and Cooper audibled on that 75-yard touchdown. Cooper said he was tired of the stop routes. God, have we heard that before? Oh, me and everyone else out there in the media. So Cooper said it's interesting because I actually had another stop route, i.e. a hitch or a curl route, route, whatever you want to call it. And they were sitting on it because every defense knows the Cowboys love to run hitch routes. The offense is go run straight and then turn back around. And Co Cooper was not happy. He was mad, wanted Dak to audible. Dak said no at first, then changed his mind, ends up being a 75-yard score. Here's the thing with Scott... Linehan's offensive scheme, it sucks. It's not good. We have told you this, and everyone has really, and you guys see it too. The play calling is bad. Linehan is bad. I don't care about the five-game win streak. This offense is still being held back by Linehan's play calling, especially once they get down into the red zone. So I'm sure you guys agree with me. Type KS if you want to keep Scott. That's not it. Type FS for fire Scott. Or maybe... You can get someone like the Vikings to hire him away from you this off season. That'd be a great holiday gift, wouldn't it? Well, here's another holiday gift for you guys. It's Santa Tom. I'm delivering with you guys here. How about some Cowboys shoes or some Cowboys jerseys? It's the best deal of the year for you. Or if you want to give them away to a loved one, all you got to do is get signed up with our partner, BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet. Then use promo code COWBOYS120. A, it gets you a 120% deposit bonus. So you put down 50 bucks, they'll give you 60. You put down 100, they're going to give you 120. Put down $500, Bet Yourself will give you 600 extra bucks to bet with. And we're going to hook you up with some Cowboy shoes or a jersey. We got a Dak Prescott jersey, a Zeke Elliott jersey for you guys. Just DM us on Twitter at ChatSports once you get signed up. And we got plenty of these here to give away, but they will go fast. So you better get in on that, on that action quickly. ChatSports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys120, then DM us at Chat Sports on Twitter. All right, back to Amari Cooper here. Is he a Pro Bowler? Well, I certainly hope so. Four stars for me. Now, we know the Pro Bowl is a popularity contest, and given how many players don't play in it anymore, it really doesn't even mean all that much. But Cooper has had a Pro Bowl caliber year for the Cowboys by far. He has been a massive part of this drastic change for the Cowboys. Look at his numbers since joining the Cowboys. 53 targets, 40 receptions, 642 yards, and 6 TDs. Those last two stats, yards and touchdowns, lead the NFL since Cooper played his first game with the Cowboys. It's a no-brainer. He is a pro bowler, if not an all-pro player right now for the Cowboys. Sticking on offense, is Dak Prescott clutch? Well, I hope that the Eagles game confirmed this, but it's four stars. Now, look, Dak was bad against the Eagles for the first three quarters, but he balled out in the fourth quarter against the Philadelphia Eagles, and the numbers back it up. Since he joined the NFL in 2016, first in game-winning drives, tied for sixth in fourth quarter comebacks, and in the fourth quarter in OT against Philadelphia, 17 of 20, 243, and three touchdowns. Can numbers lie? Of course they can. These are pretty damn good numbers, though, from Dak Prescott. He was fantastic in that fourth quarter. Yeah, he makes mistakes, and he's still developing because he's a young quarterback. Let's not forget about that. But Prescott has proven time and time again he is clutch. He and Matt Stafford, 
13 game-winning drives since 2016, more than Drew Brees, more than Tom Brady, more than Derek Carr, more than any other quarterbacks out there in the NFL. Now, speaking of that Cowboys-Eagles game, did the refs win it for the Cowboys? Of course they did not. This is fake news. Don't listen to the uh, loser Eagle fans and the players who are still salty at the Cowboys blue really kind of dominated the Eagles in that one. Look, yes, the refs were garbage. They were terrible in that game. They made so many mistakes, but it was on both sides. Yeah, the fumble, that wasn't a fumble for the Eagles, which it definitely was, and it was a terrible call by the officials. And yeah, the offensive pass interference penalty were bad, but let's not kid ourselves here. Eagles couldn't move the football at all in that game, and the Eagles still scored on the, on the offensive pass interference drive. And there was the garbage Randy Gregory roughing the pass penalty, and the never-before-seen for the Cowboys, at least, uh, lowering of the helmet call on Zeke Elliott. Yes, the refs were garbage. They impacted the game. The Cowboys were the better team in that matchup. 576 yards to 256. The better team won. Let's not kid ourselves there. Don't blame the refs just because you weren't good enough, Eagles. Now, if you guys like what I'm wearing, it's a Miz and a Main shirt. Go get one of your own. Comfortable.af is the site. And trust me, these shirts are indeed comfortable as F. You are not going to find a more comfortable shirt, dress or otherwise, than a Mizzen and Main shirt. All right, next up here, our last rumor of the day. Are the Cowboys the most watched team in the, in the D.C. area? Well, they certainly were in, in week 14. Cowboys versus Eagles had a 19.8 rating in the uh, D.C. area market. The Redskins-Giants game had a 14.0 rating. That's why they call them America's team, right? Week 14 was embarrassing for Washington. He got blown out by an average or at best, more like the mediocre Giants team, and there were more people watching the Cowboys-Eagles game than were watching your game. That's not what you want to see. Now, speaking of those NFC East teams, are the Cowboys going to win the NFC East? The, the short answer is yes. The long answer is you better believe it's yes. And we'll break down the long answer tomorrow for you guys on the Cowboys Report or... Go subscribe to our YouTube.com or YouTube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report, our Cowboys Report channel, and we'll have that up before we run it live on Facebook. So stay tuned for that. An in-depth breakdown coming up on the Cowboys playoff picture.